This next story is so unbelievable, we didn't think it could possibly be true. But after receiving thousands of records and declassified reports from the Army, it's confirmed that during the Cold War, the United States military conducted secret tests on unsuspecting people in the city of St. Louis. A local sociologist will make her findings public tomorrow, but she spoke first to the I-team's Lisa Zygman. Lisa Martino Taylor's life work has been to uncover details of the Army's ultra secret military experiments carried out in St. Louis and other cities during the 1950s and 60s. This study was secretive for a reason. Um, they didn't have um, volunteers stepping up and saying, Yeah, I'll breathe zinc cadmium sulfide with radioactive particles. These Army archive pictures show how the tests were done in Corpus Christi, Texas in the 1960s. In Texas, planes were used to drop the chemical, but in St. Louis, the Army placed chemical sprayers on buildings and station wagons. City officials were kept in the dark about the tests. The Cold War cover story was that the Army was testing smoke screens to protect cities from a Russian attack. The truth, according to Martino Taylor, was much more sinister. It's pretty shocking. Um, the level of duplicity and secrecy, um, um, clearly they went to great lengths to deceive people. By making, by making hundreds of Freedom of Information Act requests, she uncovered once classified documents that confirmed the spraying of zinc cadmium sulfide. The greatest concentration of this compound was sprayed near the Pruitt Igo housing complex just south of downtown St. Louis. It was home to 10,000 low income people, and an estimated 70% were under the age of 12. Martino Taylor claims they all unknowingly inhaled this compound morning, noon, and night so the government could measure its effects on their lungs. So this is in violation of all medical ethics, all international codes, and the military's own policy at that time. In 1994, then-Congressman Richard Gephardt asked the Army to open its records and explain the St. Louis testing. We want to make very sure that nothing went on that would harm anyone and that all the facts are out on the table. Documents released in the 90s show the Army placed sprayers on this former Knights of Columbus building on Lindell and in Forest Park. The Army always insisted the chemical compound was safe. Martino Taylor believes documents prove otherwise. There's a lot of evidence that indicates that people in St. Louis, in the city, particularly in minority communities, were um, subjected to military tests that was connected to a larger radiological weapons development and testing project. For the first time, she links the St. Louis testing to a company called U.S. Radium, a company notorious for lawsuits involving radioactive contamination of its workers. The United States Radium um, had this reputation where they had been legally liable, found legally liable uh, decades prior, for um, producing a radioactive powdered paint that killed many young women who painted fluorescent watch tiles. While the Army admits it added a fluorescent substance to the zinc cadmium compound, details of whether it was radioactive remain secret. Documents uncovered to date indicate the Army never conducted follow-up studies to see whether the compound caused long-term health issues. In 1972, after years of crime, poverty, and decline, the government destroyed the pruitt Igo housing complex. Lisa Zygman, News Channel 5, I-Team. Now, the company U.S. Radium no longer exists. Martino Taylor has placed all of her research, including the declassified documents, online and will link you to that data at ksdk.com. Now, she will make all of her findings public tomorrow at St. Louis Community College Merrimack Campus. In the meantime, if you remember the spring, the I-Team's Lisa Zygman would like to hear from you. You can email her at lzygman at ksdk.com.